I'm Colin Slaysell, a detective constable with the Transport Police, and I'm based at Telton Mead CID in Bristol. We have a dedicated team of officers that work in Bristol that uh, investigate and deal with uh, graffiti offences and those who commit the offences. Uh, and we're part, obviously, of a, a much larger national team that's uh, dedicated towards um, investigating those, those uh, criminal offences. We share a database of information and images with uh, this council and, and all councils across England and Wales, as well as all police forces across England and Wales as well. When I got caught, oh, it was rubbish. Got busted about seven months ago in the process of being convicted for various graffiti crimes. I got caught for it about two months ago. I was on my way to work in the morning. I just didn't think anything of it. I was doing a tag on a bin and a lamppost. A police car went straight past. I ran down the hill because I sort of knew what was going to happen. But he, he like he caught me on the other side of the road. He took my name and my address. Uh, about a week later, two weeks later, I had a knocking on my door at like half seven in the morning. They came to my house. They raided my house. Came in at like quarter to eight in the morning. They raided my girlfriend's house. My parents' house. My best friend's house. Went in my room, went through all my stuff, hijacked all my photos, kidnapped my computer. I never realised what it was doing at the time. Um, just seemed a bit of a bit of fun. Because they found sufficient evidence, I thought it was wise to admit it, but still, I didn't know if they were gonna make an example of me, I didn't know if I was gonna go inside. I just had to admit it, and admit it was me. There's something like 395 accounts of criminal damage, just totaling over a million pounds. My house was covered in like, evidence that it was me, so I couldn't really not admit it. There is always a possibility that you're gonna come across a magistrate that really hates graffiti. If you're under 17 and you're brought before the magistrate's court for committing graffiti offences, uh, the likelihood is you are going to wind up with a criminal record and that's going to follow you around for some considerable time. Not only that, you could also wind up with an antisocial behaviour order, uh, which could quite severely restrict your movements and what you can and can't carry and who you can and can't associate with. I've now been on bail for seven months, um, on curfew, not allowed out past nine o'clock. Um, it's kind of wrecked my life, to be honest. And I would have been, I would have been in a proper man prison, you know, with proper men, proper criminals. Nah. Basically, they will get you. There's the database now where they store your tags. As we're building a case against a particular suspect, we, we will generally know what tags uh, he is using and what crews we think he belongs to. So what we will do is we'll research the National Graffiti Database as well as other databases that the police and councils hold in order to build a fullest picture as possible of what that particular person has been up to so that we can present that evidence to the Crown Prosecution Service so they can, um, they can make the correct judgments and an informed judgment as to what that person has been up to and what course of action we should take against him. Sneaking around at night on the train tracks is a dangerous thing. People in London have just died from being hit, hit by a fast train on the main line. Has anyone ever been hurt doing graffiti? Unfortunately, yes. Two young men were disturbed whilst they were putting graffiti up on the side of a tube train in Barking and, uh, and fled or tried to flee the scene of what they were doing. And unfortunately, they got struck and killed by a passing tube train. Regrettably, those two young men met their death simply for putting up graffiti on the side of a tube train. The likelihood is you are going to wind up with a criminal record or you could wind up hurting yourself or in fact even getting killed.